right now we're at Fowl Point. Fowl Point is where they gathered the sheep and they gathered the sheep to take them off the island and they probably put fences up. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where or how they did it, but this is called Fowl Point, not because it's fowl, but fold, a sheep fold. Fowl Point, and this is where they gathered them up. And that behind me, we'll see later, is the dock. And the dock um, is where they brought them down, hobbled them, and put them on a boat, and they'd take the boat across the sound and take them off on the other side to market. Now, where they'd land them is the steps below, on the rocks below the Sound Cafe, is Port Albion. And uh, little used now. People don't come across straight away, across the Sound. They come either from Port Aaron or Port St Mary, but um, Port Albion is where they brought them to. Now, when it came to cattle, you couldn't do that. You couldn't put cattle on board a boat. Well, not the little boats that come here. So what they did was they took them out of Cow Harbour. Now, here's where the place names go all a bit awry. There's a shed over there. The other side of the shed is called Cow Harbour. Now, if you were to take your cows out of Cow Harbour, you'd end up setting off to Dublin. And you'd have to go about a quarter of a mile before you could turn the corner and then come back round the rocks into the keyless, the sound. So that's not, tr not right. Where they actually went from is the beach on this side of the shed. And the beach is alternatively called um, by and Carvel, Pie and Keel, uh, from the, the chapel which was at Jane's house further up the hill. And it makes sense that they'd come off a place where the cattle would have easy access to the sea and they'd be gone straight across the sound. There'd be two men in a boat with sweeps and they'd tie a rope um, to the first cow. The ropes were all tied, the cows were all tied together by rope. And the first cow was rowed into the sea. Then once the first cow started swimming, the others would follow. And they swam the cows across. This isn't um, just to the Isle of Man. This didn't just happen here. All the islands of Scotland did the same thing. Um, one of the shepherds that was out here years ago, he remembers taking cows across a sound in the, in the Hebrides, uh, just the same as they did here. Um, there was no problem, never, never lost any cattle, no hurt done. And so that was actually Cow Harbour, not the one that's now called Cow Harbour. And beside it, on this side of the, the, um, the shed, is another little port. And I've since read in John Wright's book about the Calf of Man that it was called Port Gurley, because there was a man here, G-O-U-R-L-E-Y, Gurley, who was one of the first wardens of tenant farmers that was running the farm here. And um, he used to take the cattle off from there. And it was mentioned that they came off Port Gurley, which would be that one, possibly. But that's sometimes called Carey's. Sometimes it's called Grant's. And the one below us, which is the Dock, is sometimes called the Dock or Carey's or Grant's. And if you pick the wrong person to tell that to, you're in trouble. So I call the Dock the Dock because it is a Dock. And I call Cow Harbour Cow Harbour, even though I know it isn't. And I don't call any others by any other name. That way you're on safe ground. With place names, it's nice to be able to say this is this and that is that. But on this area of the calf, you're on dangerous ground, no matter what you say. So these are the names that are common to this area. But um, I don't want to say with any certainty which one is which.